the Siemens Ctrans FC410, the most compact Coriolis flow meter worldwide, a multi-parameter measuring instrument with the highest degree of reliability. Start by making sure that the order number and serial number match. This technical innovation includes the simple installation of the flow meter, the mounting, the wiring with the automation system, and the integration. Start the installation video using the QR code on the sensor. The C-Trans FC410 requires only little installation space due to its compact design. It works in any mounting position. Siemens recommends one of the following. For vertical installation with upwards flow, the pipe is constantly filled, avoiding bubble formation. This mounting position is also self-draining. For liquid applications, we recommend a horizontal mounting position with the inner pipes of the sensor facing downwards. For applications involving gases, we recommend a horizontal mounting position with the pipes facing upwards. Pay attention to the direction of the flow. An arrow on the sensor indicates the calibrated flow direction. To make installation easier, use a pipe support to position the C-Trans FC410. First, insert the bottom bolts. This ensures that the gasket is properly positioned. Then, insert the top bolts and tighten the nuts evenly. Repeat the process at the other end. Then remove the pipe support. Finally, check that everything is correctly connected. The C-Trans FC410 is now mounted. The label on the flow meter shows the technical specifications. Allow the respective medium to flow through the sensor with no more than 1.5 times the rated pressure. In the next step, the C-Trans FC410 is connected directly to the automation system. The integration varies depending on the type of application. In our example, the C-Trans FC410 is connected directly to a Sematic S7-1200 PLC via a Modbus RTU connection. Measurements and the Sematic demo software can be seen on the display. First, establish the wiring. The connection of the flow meter with the M12 cable is extremely simple. Simply connect the supplied four-wire cable with M12 connector directly to the measurement instrument. The C-Trans FC410 is also available with a cable duct, in which case you must connect the cables directly in the measurement instrument. To do so, undo the lock screw and remove the cover. A circuit diagram for the wiring can be found on the back of the cover. Thread the cable through the cable duct and now connect the cables. Please observe the respective information in the cover or refer to the operating manual. Observe the correct setting of the dip switches. They can be found inside the measurement instrument. In their default setting, the dip switches are set to end of line. You must change the default settings of the dip switches when using the FC410 in a multi-point system. You can find a respective plan on the back of the cover and in the operating manual. In order to establish the wiring between the C-Trans FC410 and the automation system in our example, the four-wire cable is connected directly to the integrated communication module and the 24V connection of the PLC. Please refer to the operating manual for the correct wiring. Finally, we would like to recommend that you install our Sematic C-Trans FC410 demo software in order to become familiar with the measurement data of the measurement instrument. Download the Sematic demo software from our Siemens website. Open the demo software in the TIA portal. Load the program into the PLC and start from there. Diagnostic and process values appear on the display after installation. The C-Trans FC410 is now ready for operation. Contact your local Siemens customer service if you have any additional questions. C-Trans FC410, the perfect fit 
for tight spaces.